Good morning, friend. Welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky, if you're new, and you are sitting in my office over here. Normally, we spend time over there in the kitchen, but I thought it would be fun if we do a week in the life of what it's like to be a YouTuber and a homesteader and kind of like a full-time online content creator and someone who has a homestead. Now, my weeks look very different depending on what time of year it is because my life revolves around growing food and food preservation. And so just depending on what time of year it is, my life can look really different. So today is July 3rd, it is Monday morning, and we're just gonna see what this week holds. I don't exactly know what the whole week holds for us. I kind of made my plan for the week. Something that was cool yesterday is my editor had two videos for me to review yesterday, Sunday, and while the baby was napping, I was able to get both of those videos reviewed and up onto YouTube. And this morning, the first thing I did was, let me show you, there we go. I made the thumbnail for the Q&A that is going live today. So that was what I did first thing this morning. I also got my dishwasher going. I don't know if you can hear that. I got my laundry machine going. I worked on planning my week and because I was able to get those two videos reviewed yesterday, I don't need to worry about reviewing video today, which is great. Over the weekend as well, I was talking to my sister-in-law and asking her, what do you have planned for the 4th of July? Because we didn't have anything planned. And she said she didn't have anything planned. So I said, hey, do you want to come over? And she was available. So she said, sure, why not? And then I asked some of my friends and my sister and I asked a couple other people. And so now we are having a barbecue on the 4th of July tomorrow. So tomorrow is Tuesday and I have time today. Someone is here to help me with the baby today. So I need to get all that I can get done today for this party. It's gonna be pretty simple, nothing super elaborate or anything like that, but I do need to go pick up some groceries. This morning, I also kind of planned out my week. So today we're gonna to go grocery shopping. We're gonna do some meal prep. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. We are going to enjoy that, just family and some friends over and I wanna get as much done today so that tomorrow I can kind of just like check out and take the day off. Wednesday, I plan to work in the garden all day and Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, I have really no idea. This week, kind of, I don't really have a ton planned. It just depends on what my editor gives me back and what the weather is like, and we will see. Sometimes I have my weeks very, 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 very scheduled, and sometimes I don't. The baby is taking a nap right now, so while he's napping, and I have someone here, a family friend hanging out with him, I'm gonna go run to the store, pick up what we need, and just go from there. So I hope you enjoy a week in the life of a full-time homesteader and content creator, mom, and person just trying to do this thing called life. I had this thought before I head to the store, I should get dinner out for tonight because I'm gonna be prepping for tomorrow's party. I don't really wanna to have to worry about cooking dinner tonight. So I'm just looking in my freezer meal freezer and see what meals I have in here that I can whip together really, really quickly. Hmm. I decided on some tacos for dinner. So this is just some ground beef taco meat that I made that has some onions in it and all the spices. So all I have to do tonight is warm that up. I'll just let that thaw. I don't plan to be gone for too long today. I already have some shredded cheese. I have tortillas in the refrigerator. I can open a can of corn relish and we've got a ton of lettuce out in the garden. I actually have some cabbage too in the garden that I could make a cabbage slaw to go along with dinner. I have tomatoes coming out of the garden so I could slice up some of those. Here's our first slicing tomato and I know that there's more cherry tomatoes out there. So dinner is taken care of for tonight and I just need to get all my stuff. The only thing I can't find is my tripod. <laughs> so my like handheld one. So it's not technically a tripod anymore. It broke, so it's a bipod. So it's not very functional, but it still works. So I'm not going to replace it. And I forgot, I actually have this one, which is a tripod that works. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one, which makes more sense. I totally forgot I had this one. All right, so I'm gonna run to the store and come back and we're gonna do meal prep for the party tomorrow. And then I'm also, I want to get a couple decorations. I don't own any, 4th of July decorations. I think the, the most decorations I'm gonna get are maybe some fancy napkins or something. I'm not gonna go overboard or anything like that. I don't love spending money on decorations that I then have to store all the time. So I think it would be fun just to have some 
cute napkins or something. I don't know. We'll see what we can find at the store today together. So we are at Costco and we've got a lot of things to do on this day. Because I was able to work over the weekend and get two videos reviewed, I had the bandwidth to focus on getting this party done. I would not have been able to get this party thrown together last minute if I hadn't worked on the weekend. One of the beautiful things about working for yourself is you can move things around and kind of move things around to fit your life. And that is a beautiful thing. It also can be a hard thing too because it's hard to turn it off when you work for yourself. There's always something that can be done. And because I was able to work on the weekends, this week was actually a very relaxing week. We had good balance between work and family time. So this day is considered what I consider a film day or a project day. This is a day where I have a family friend that comes in. I have a family friend that comes in two days a week now that Josh is working full time again and I am able to focus on getting big projects done. Mm -hmm. On this day in particular, we went shopping, we did some harvesting, and we did a lot of meal prep for this party that we decided to throw together last minute. On these big project days, I typically will do gardening, harvesting, organizing projects. I will do big cooking projects and things like that. And then I also, on the flip side, have days that I call my computer work days. Those days are typically, it's just me and the baby at home, and I am reviewing video. This last weekend, I reviewed video on the weekend. I don't always do that. I typically try to keep the weekends free of reviewing video, but this week, I knew that the 4th of July was going to be here, and I wanted to kind of have a relaxing 4th of July week, those two days, the third and the fourth. So I thought, you know what, I better go ahead and do some computer work done on the weekend and that's gonna make this whole week a little less stressful. So on those days, it's usually just me and the baby and we hang out while I get computer work done. I you know, answer emails, I write recipes, I write the blog posts, I review video, do voiceover and that kind of stuff on my computer days. But today in particular was a work day with doing a big project because I had the help. And so that is what we got done on this day. Good morning. <clears throat> it's early. Happy 4th of July. I figured I should get some laundry going first thing this morning because I haven't done laundry in like four or five days. <laughs> and so I am down to the bare minimum of what... I have. <laughs> and so on this 4th of July, we're having a party and I need some clean clothes. <laughs> so we're going to get a load of laundry going first thing in the morning. I have yet to make my cup of coffee this morning. So I figured let's get this going and then let's go make a pot of coffee. I've got quite a bit of work I need to do. Well, no, actually. I did almost all the cooking. The only thing I have to do today is actually grill the burgers and things when people get here and make whipped cream. But I need to set up for the party today. So it's gonna be kind of a relaxed day. I do wanna get one of my aprons washed so that I can wear this today. So I wanna make sure I get this in the first load of laundry. So we're gonna get this in here. So it's just gonna be Josh and I at home all day until the party at four. I need to set up an awning and a table so that people have somewhere to sit in the shade. So we're gonna put some of these, I love these dryer laundry. Oh, this is my second to last one. So I love these things. This is the laundry detergent. I just put that in there like that. Close the lid and turn it on. Now I have a load of laundry going and then I've got a second load here ready to go that I can put in when that one needs to be rotated. I think I have laundry. Oh yeah, I've got some towels and some blankets in here. Maybe I'll get these folded real quick before I go make a pot of coffee. When I first started YouTube, I started 
editing everything on an old iPhone 7 and then I would edit everything in iMovie because it was a free editing software that came with an iPhone and I just did everything on the phone and it was overwhelming to learn that. But I just would chip away at it and my goal was just to try to learn one new thing every few videos. <laughs> so I think it took me like seven videos before I learned how to add music. It took me probably 20 or 25 videos before I had the bandwidth to try to learn how to add voiceover. And it was just a slow learning process. Josh was there the whole time helping me, encouraging me to keep on going. I do use a camera now, but I was having issues with it again this week. The beautiful thing, technology is so helpful sometimes, but it can also be sometimes the hardest part of the job. That feels good to have the laundry started. It's been a while since that's been going. So let's go make a pot of coffee now. So what I need to do today when it comes to computer work and things like that is really not that much, which is really nice because I had a video go out yesterday, my Q&A. And so if you missed that, we went over, you know, new motherhood and future homestead plans and things like that. And so today I don't have a video going out because I have a video that goes out every other day. I have two more videos up on YouTube right now that still need descriptions and thumbnails. But I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. Because today I want to focus on getting ready for my party. And normally on a day like today, I would be reviewing video. But I mentioned earlier, I reviewed two videos on Sunday. So I don't have, I don't think I have any today. I would have to wait and see um, once I get on my computer and check my email and all that stuff, but I'm probably gonna end up doing some of that tomorrow. I need to clean the powder bathroom. I need to sweep and mop. I need to get the kitchen put together. I wanna unload the dishwasher. I need to set up for the party. And so I am gonna sit here for a few minutes while the coffee brews and I'm gonna check my email and just do some like computer stuff that just has to be done every day or almost every day. Make sure I'm not missing anything which sometimes is the case, and then I wanna work on laundry. My life is flexible in the fact that on Sunday, I was able to do computer work, which maybe on Sunday I typically would have done more laundry, and that's why I haven't done any laundry in quite a few days. So it's just kind of ebbs and flows and is different all the time. I don't have like a very set routine of, you know, like this is laundry day, this is a computer day or anything like that, it's just, whatever is available for me to do, that's what I try to get done. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit while the coffee brews gets just a little bit of like computer work done. I'm gonna make a list for me of the things I need to get done today. And I wanna try to get all the party stuff done relatively in the morning. People are coming over at four o'clock so that I can just sit and kind of relax and like decompress before people get here. Right now it is 6.40, so it's still, pretty early in the morning. Typically after a big work day or project day, then I have a computer day. So it's kind of like an every other type thing ish. I mean, my, my life is different every day, but typically it's kind of every other, but because I had done those videos on the weekend, this 4th of July day kind of felt like a day off to me. I already had my video go out the day before, so I didn't have to make a thumbnail or write a description box, I could just putter around my house. If you watch this video, I talked about puttering. I love it. I just kind of got to enjoy getting everything set up for the party and I could focus on that instead of work. And one of the cool things about working for yourself is you have the flexibility to you know, switch it up if you need to. And you can adjust things as needed to plan a party last minute. But that can also be kind of one of the challenging parts is especially when, you know, you're working from home, it can be hard to set those boundaries of, you know, <laughs> this is work and this is, you know, personal and things like that. Or just setting like when you work for yourself, you could always be working. You know, there's no cap on that. And there, there sometimes can be the pressure of, 
you know, I'm responsible for showing up. You know, no one is there making sure I'm clocking in and showing up on time. And so there is this, there's a beauty and a freedom in it, but then there is a heavy, I don't want to say burden. I don't think that's the right word, but there is a responsibility to be self-motivated, to continue to show up every day. And I am pretty fortunate that showing up and hanging out with you is what I get to do for my job. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you just heard, but that buzzer in the background, that is my laundry. So as I'm sitting here talking to you, I have laundry going. It is a never ending, beautiful part of life. And I will never be ungrateful for the fact that I have an electric washer and dryer. I love living in the 21st century because it gives me time freedom to do other things instead of washing clothes and dishes by hand. I have freedom to, you know, throw together a last minute party. So here I am just getting the linens put together for the party. We have been, we went swimming. I came back, I got ready for the party and it's about a minute or two later that I realized that I left the freezer door open to my freezer that has all my freezer meals in it. When you saw me take out that ground beef, that is when I was rearranging some things in the freezer and I rearranged something where the door did not close fully. <laughs> and so we're going to get more into that later, but that was a loss. And sometimes I do things like this where, you know, I open a drawer and I can't help myself. I'm going to organize it. There are some zinnia seeds. <laughs> I have zinnia seeds and a dog collar, a camera battery, and here I find my Nespresso frother in there. So I took a second to organize that because I saw the need, I had a minute, and I went ahead and did it. So this is the 4th of July party. We had a great time and I did the bare minimum when it came to clean up and tear down. We'll get to that later in the week. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning and yesterday was 4th of July. So today it kind of feels like Monday to me. Yesterday I kept thinking it was Sunday just because of the holiday. And I don't really know what my plan is for today. I'm feeling a little lost because yesterday the party was fantastic, but about a half an hour before the party, I realized that the freezer door in our garage, my freezer meal freezer door, had been left open for a good 24 hours and we lost 90%. 90, yeah, about 90% of the stuff that was in that freezer. And so my plan was to have a computer day all day today. And I started all this laundry yesterday. I think between Josh and I, we got five loads washed. All of this laundry except that pile is clean. So we've got all these piles of laundry that need to be folded. So my plan today originally was to get all that laundry done and sit basically at my computer all day and do computer work because I'm home by myself today. And so that was what my goal was. But I never took care of all of the party stuff last night because I just, I took care of most of it. I just didn't take care of all of it. So I was thinking I would sit and do computer work and laundry all day. But now I'm wondering if I should tackle the freezer. Josh, I emptied most, not most of it. I emptied about half of it. I get, I threw away what needed to just be thrown away. I gave to the chickens what I could give to the chickens. And then all my freezer meals in my casserole dishes, I didn't want to deal with it yesterday because my family and friends were coming over in a half an hour. So I still have to figure out, oh my goodness, there's so many birds playing in the garden. I don't know if I'd be able to show you. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna show up, but right by those cabbages, there was a hummingbird. There was a bird over there playing on that trellis, and there was a bird over here. The irrigation goes off in the mornings, and the birds <laughs> drink, because there's a landscape fabric, they take baths and drink from in the raised beds in the morning, so it's super cute. There's a lot of bird activity. So the casseroles, I need to figure out what to do with them. Uh, Josh was able to get the freezer working again. It sounded horrible last night and then he 
took it apart and I think he got it working. So at least the food that's in there, I mean, it's bad, but it's not going to like go spoiled, like bad, bad. So when I go to clean it, it's not going to be as gross. So I'm just going to take the morning. I'm letting the dogs out. I need to go make a pot of coffee. Josh um, is up and he is heading off to work today. So I usually like to make sure I get a pot of coffee going. Thankfully, I took a bunch of uh, breakfast burritos out of the freezer so we can have breakfast burritos for breakfast. <laughs> so at least those don't go bad. And then I need to regroup, have a cup of coffee and figure out what this day is gonna look like. I figured I could show you what the state of the kitchen looks like after the party. I did at least get the dishwasher ran last night. I didn't put all the dishes in there. I just did what I had the energy to do. I need to take the garbage out. I got the island cleared. I did not clean it. So it's just the baby and I on this day. So the days where it's typically just the baby and I, Josh does the baby care in the mornings. So I'm usually up and I probably check my computer. I get coffee made and I try to think about what I'm going to do on this day. And he kind of lightens the burden on me that way. But on this day, I felt a little bit kerfuffled and confused <laughs> and not sure what I should, how I should plan or tackle the rest of my, my week because I was not planning to have this freezer issue. And so it kind of threw a wrench in, you know, my typical routine. So I thought, you know what, let's just stick with what we know. We know how to make a pot of coffee. We know how to do some dishes. Let's regroup. Let's kind of think about it and come up with a plan. So that's what I decided to do. So I just cl I'm cleaning up after the party. Sometimes after I have a party, I will clean up after and sometimes I don't and that's okay. If I know that I have a minute to clean up the next day, then it's okay to just let it be. Focus on hanging out with your friends and family, you know, maybe get the dishwasher started. I did make sure I got the dishwasher started. So at least in the morning I could unload it and load it again with any of the dishes that didn't get into it. But we did use paper plates for this party and that was a huge blessing a little less that had to be done, but I was able to get it unloaded and now started again. So while I was doing the dishes, I was figuring out what I'm gonna do with my day. And I think I'm gonna stick with my original plan. I'm gonna work on the computer basically all day, work on keep washing these clothes. I've got, I think three more lo loads of laundry between Josh, mine, and the babies <laughs> that need to go through. I might not get to folding it. And I think tomorrow what I'm gonna do is my inside refrigerator needs to be clean. My outside refrigerator needs to be clean. I need to deal with the deep freeze. And I need to finish putting away the stuff from outside. Sorry if you can hear the dish, the washer machine right now. I think that I'm just gonna focus on computer work today and then I will keep washing these clothes and tomorrow I will work on tackling all those cleaning projects and folding all these clothes. So we can't all do everything in one day and that's why what I try to do is figure out what exactly I'm going to do in a day and then I give myself permission not to worry about the rest of it until later. So yes, I'm going to probably have end up six or seven loads of laundry in the washroom or in the laundry room that are clean that I'm not going to tackle today. And that's fine because as long as I get my computer work done that I need to get done, then we're going to call that a successful day. So I'm going to write that on my list so that I can cross things off. I like to be able to cross things off, so that's gonna be great. The list is never ending. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna add on here, deal with the, fr oh, that's cute. Deal with the um, freezer. And earlier this week, that was an issue that needed to be dealt with, dealt with, and now it does, so. Baby is down for his morning nap. Josh is left for work and I just made myself a second cup of coffee with some whipped cream on the top because I am getting upset about the freezer. I think yesterday with the party and everything, like my brain didn't have time to fully process the freezer situation. And I feel like I'm going through the five stages of grief a little bit. Oh, I'm a little bummed about it. A lot bummed about it. So. I'm really glad I decided to switch gears and just work on computer work because I didn't realize how much computer work I actually have to do today. When I was planning my original day over here, I was kind of doing big picture stuff like 
Today I'm gonna to do computer work. Tomorrow I'm going to fold the laundry and clean out the freezer and clean out the refrigerator and kind of do like project type things. But then when I sat down to write my list of like the actual tasks I need to get done today, I realized that I've got four thumbnails I need to create. I need to write descriptions for four videos. Two of the videos are already up on YouTube. One of them is going out today. And so I just made the thumbnail. It is a big farmer's market haul and food preservation day. So that was really fun. So I'm just finishing up that now. And then that video is gonna go out today. And then I have two videos from my editor that I need to review and add voiceover and upload to YouTube. And once they're up on YouTube, then I can write the description. Sometimes I have time, the time I upload it to write the description, do the thumbnail and do the title. Sometimes I don't like the one that's going out today. I got the video up on YouTube and then right now I'm sitting down to kind of finalize it so it's ready to go out and go live. And that's one reason why my videos are about a week and a half to two weeks from when I film them to when they go live on YouTube because there is this time between sending it off to my editor, me having time to sit down and review it, and then getting it up on YouTube. And it gives me a buffer um, when you work for yourself. I don't have sick days, paid sick days, or paid vacation or anything like that. So I like to have somewhat of a buffer so that if I get sick, if my editor gets sick, if we wanna go on vacation, when I was doing all of it myself, it was extremely stressful. If I wanted to still have the same schedule, of videos go out when I would go out of town or when I would get sick because I would either have to work when I was sick, which is miserable, and I think it takes longer to get better, or two, uh, I would do, I would have to do double work in order to go out of town and it was extremely stressful to get all of that done to then go out of town and it took like a while to like kind of relax while I was out because you know I had all this extra work I had to do to get to that point and then when I got back I had depleted all of my buffer and so it was like this you know and so it's been really nice being able to kind of build this buffer and it just gives a little bit of grace in case life happens so I am going to just sit down. Normally I would probably sit outside right now, but it's smoky, there's forest fires. So I don't think that's probably a good idea. Probably good just to sit inside and hunker down and get this computer work done. And then I also have two videos. My mom and I are doing a hosting e-course and I've got two of those videos I need to review today as well. So it's just gonna be a good day sitting here. I don't even have to think about dinner because we have enchiladas in the refrigerator that Josh cooked up on Monday and so we will eat those for dinner tonight so yeah I'm excited to just kind of start checking things off my list and cheers between computer work on this day there was different times where I would have a little bit of a break where I was waiting for something to upload or download the computer side of all of this online business is definitely something that this channel would not exist if it wasn't for Josh helping me with that side. He, I know enough, he teaches me how to do the things I need to know how to do and then I can do those things, <laughs> but much more I can't. So just all that to say that there's times where sometimes I'm waiting for things to upload or download. And when I have those few minute breaks, what I like to do is hop up and I'm gonna unload the dishwasher while I have a minute here and I'm waiting for something i don't know what i was waiting for but i know i was waiting for something on this day so i i got up and i unloaded the dishwasher all right i just got the baby down for his second nap of the day and i am done with my computer work which is fantastic i have yeah i don't have any more computer work i can do i was gonna say i have more i can do but i actually i don't have any more i can do which means I kind of have the afternoon to do whatever I want once the baby gets up. So what I was thinking is I could, this is my thought process, so I'll talk you through my thought process. One, I've got one, two, three, four, soon to be five, and possibly a six load of laundry. I could switch my plan and I could fold all this laundry, which I probably will start folding it until he gets up. 
but I want to pack our bags and I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna focus on trying to actually get to the pool this afternoon and enjoy this nice weather. And I'm not gonna let myself feel guilty for not getting to all this laundry or other house chores because I have set aside the time tomorrow to get these projects done. So I'll get done what I can while he's sleeping, but while he's sleeping, I kinda wanna make sure that I pack our pool bag and I get all that done. I thought my computer work was gonna take me a lot longer than it did. Sometimes it takes me a long time. Sometimes it doesn't take me as long at all. So we're just gonna go with what the original plan was in getting most of this laundry done tomorrow. And then we are gonna head to the pool this afternoon, which I'm really looking forward to. I, if you don't know, was a lifeguard and swim instructor in high school. So I love the water and I did swim team all throughout high school. So I kind of grew up in the water and I love the water. So in the summer, I like to try to take advantage of the nice weather when possible. I think I will start folding one load. I'll give myself permission to do one load folding of dish towels because I have no dish towels in my kitchen right now, which is awful. And then I'll fold the rest of the clothes tomorrow because that's what takes the longest is to fold clothes as opposed to dish towels or towels in general. And then as soon as I'm done with this one load of towels, I will run and get our bags packed. So as soon as he wakes up, we will go swimming, which sounds more fun to me than dealing with all this clean laundry. Right before the baby and I went to play at the pool for the afternoon, I decided we better get the green stalks watered and a couple of the seeds I just direct sowed in the ground watered before we head out because it's supposed to be in the high 90s today and I just wanted to make sure everything was well watered. I did notice that the zucchini needed to be harvested, so I thought I would go ahead and pick this real quick. I can't help myself, you know, if I see something, I want to pick it, but we're just gonna get everything a good drink of water before we head off and enjoy the afternoon at the pool. Look what I just found that sprouted. These are our Blue Lake bush beans. They were not sprouted yesterday, so that's exciting. Oh, and it looks like some of our pinto beans have sprouted over here too. In the middle section here, we have carrots and I don't see anything there yet. but we will get some water on them. I thought I would do some hand pollinating while I'm out here. This is a male flower because it doesn't have the fruit end attached to it. This is a female flower because it has the fruit attached to it. So I'm gonna hand pollinate that. You just take the flower, pull the petals away, and put the pollen on this one. And hopefully by doing this, we will get a zucchini. I think I'm gonna grab this zinnia. We meet back here again. Yesterday we went swimming, came home, and relaxed for the rest of the day. Had some leftovers for dinner, super easy. Josh got home and we were just hung out as a family. And this morning I just got the baby down for his morning nap and I'm sitting down to review a video because I only had one to review yesterday. I thought I would sneak this in, get this reviewed while the baby's napping. And then I will get ready for the day today and we are gonna work on getting this house reset. Today is Thursday and Josh works from home tomorrow. And so I want to get the laundry room taken care of today because that is his office as well. And I wouldn't wanna work in that environment. So I wanna get that cleaned for him. We need to deal with the freezer. I need to put away all the party stuff. I have yet to do that, just like the tables and chairs and stuff like that. 
and today is going to be kind of a work day. It's probably going to be an all-day work day. Yesterday was kind of like a two-thirds work day, and then today is going to be a full-blown work day. So right now I'm sitting interviewing the garlic harvest video. I've got a lot of voiceover to do on this. This is probably going to take me a good two hours probably, hour and a half to get it reviewed, voiceovered, uploaded to YouTube, and then I probably won't do the thumbnail or description now. I don't have a video going live today, and I already did all the descriptions and everything for the videos that I have up on YouTube. So once I review this, I'll probably just get it uploading to YouTube. It takes about an hour and a half to get from my computer up onto YouTube, and so we'll just go about cleaning, organizing, and doing all those projects while that is happening. So I should probably go get a cup of coffee. I haven't had a cup of coffee today. I did make a pot and I got the dishwasher unloaded and loaded. That's one thing I start my morning with almost every day while the coffee is brewing. <laughs> Good morning. This worked out perfect because my editor had a video for me to review and I was able to sneak it in and review it and get it up onto YouTube before the baby woke up. So that was perfect. And this is right here why I don't show this very often because it's just me sitting at a computer typing away and it's kind of boring. I do have a lot of sit down time and computer time throughout my week. It's probably 50% of what I do. And then the other 50% is, you know, me moving around big projects, but I just don't always show that. And I do also enjoy relaxing in the evening and watching TV, but I also don't show that because that's kind of boring to watch as well. I've got my video exporting. That took me about two hours. The baby just woke up and my friend just got here. She's gonna hang out with him for just a couple hours while I go get ready for the day and then we tackle these projects we need to tackle today. So I'm gonna have my computer just sit here. It's gonna export my video and then after I'm done getting ready, I will then upload it to YouTube. So there's kind of two parts. You make your video, then you export it because then it becomes like a full video. I don't totally understand. I just know which buttons to push to end up getting my video up onto YouTube. And then once it's exported, then I can actually take that whole video and put it up on YouTube. So now I'm gonna go get ready for the day and then we're gonna tackle these projects so that we can go into this weekend with a put together house. I am officially ready for the day and I'm going to tackle this project. All of that is clean except for those sheets that are on the hamper. So I need to run one more load through and then get all of this folded and put away. Alrighty friend, laundry is completely taken care of. Josh is working from home and he will be able to enjoy a nice, clean, organized space. I got the freezer cleaned out. I got all the dishes that were in there from the freezer meals washed and put away. So now the freezer is cooling, completely clean ready to start over filling it again <laughs> and we put some safety measures in place so hopefully this never happens again got the back patio put together the kitchen is clean and now i am going to go run to the usps store because a very exciting package just showed up in the mail something that i have been talking to you all about possibly getting for two years and i finally bit the bullet and decided that it was time to get this to make my life easier so i'm excited to share with you what i got so let me, oh, and I need to show you what the laundry room looks like because it looks so, so good. So I'll show you what the laundry room looks like when we get back and I'm going to show you what I got in the mail. I just got home and I'm too tired to open the box, so I will open it later and I will show you what's in the box. Good morning. Happy Friday. The baby and I, if I can get out of here, are heading out to the garden this morning. Got my cup of coffee. Josh is working from home today. And before Josh and the baby got up, I did some computer work. I've got quite a bit of computer work I need to get done to today. This morning, while the baby and the Josh was sleeping, I was able to get a thumbnail done and today's video ready to go out. But I thought before I sit down and tackle the rest of the computer work I need to do while Josh is working from home today. We're gonna to tag team the baby. I would just take a stroll out into the garden and see what I can find.
that was a perfect way to spend the early morning. I do need to go out there and harvest some more peas this afternoon, but we've got enough veggies now that we can make dinner. I pulled out a pound of ground beef, and I think I'm just gonna saute up some ground beef with some onion. I have one onion left in the house, and then I will chop up the zucchini, saute that in with that, top it with fresh tomatoes from the garden, and that is gonna be dinner. So something super, super easy because I have no freezer meals to rely on. So we're gonna go with that. We had quesadillas for dinner last night. So easy is the name of the game right now. Nothing complicated or fancy, and that is good. And then if I want, I could make maybe some rice to put that over, or we could just eat it kind of low carb if we want. I'll just have to ask Josh what he wants. I've got about probably four or five hours worth of computer work to do today. Um, I've already done about an hour getting up before the baby and Josh allowed me to get quite a bit done. I've got my video completely ready for today to go out. I had asked yesterday my editor to do some tweaking to some videos. He just texted me this morning and said those are ready to review, so I'm going to review those. And then I need to write some descriptions, I need to make some thumbnails, and that is about what I need to do today. Um, I think I want to try to go to the pool again this afternoon if it warms up. It was a little bit cooler out there today. It's been super hot lately, but I think it might cool. We might be going into a cooler spell, but we'll just see. That's one reason why I wanted to get up early so that I could try to get a bunch of this work done as much as possible. Josh is working from home today. His schedule sometimes there's just random days throughout the week where he can work from home, and today is the day. I'm excited about that because it's Friday. And I'm going to see if I can get as much of this work done today so that going into the weekend, I don't have as much work that I need to do. I think Josh and I want to go shopping for some house plans, which will be kind of fun. So we'll just see what this day has in store other than computer work. But I'm pretty sure, oh, I want to show you what I got in that box too. I don't know if I have the energy to open the box. I mean, I have the energy to open the box, but then I'm going to have to deal with the contents of the box. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see what today has in store. One thing I have not done at all today is start uploading my footage to my editor. All the videos that I filmed this week, he doesn't have any of that footage yet, so now I'm starting that process. That can take quite a bit of time because internet, and so it's a lot of data going across the internet. What I thought I would do right now, since I have that footage uploading to him, is I would go ahead and start planning my next week. Even though it's only Friday, I usually do this on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. But I was out in the garden and I see all these garden chores. I spent very little time out in there this week other than just harvesting. And there's definitely some maintenance that needs to be done, pruning and some different things that I could see. So I'm gonna start planning my week next week or at least jotting down things that I know need to be done. I typically don't sit down and plan my next week out until Sunday evening. But on this Friday, I happen to know that I did not spend that much time out in the garden this week because we decided to have a last minute party and that's where the focus was, enjoying family and friends over the holiday. And then life threw us a curveball and we needed to tackle the freezer situation. And so we just needed to do focus on our house. <laughs> kind of the home reset kind of took over. But I know that because not much was done out in the garden, this next week I need to focus and figure out what needs to be done in the garden. So I jot down those things. So I hope this was interesting to you to kind of see a little bit behind the scenes of what it looks like to be a full-time content creator, homesteader, mom, working mom, and how I try to balance everything. I don't do it all. I don't do it all myself. I have help and I also don't do everything. Sometimes things get left by the wayside. You saw that there wasn't laundry that you know, I didn't have the laundry done. It was clean in the laundry room for about four days before I finally tackled it. And that's fine because I was able to prioritize things that needed to be done that were more important than that. And then we finally got to the laundry. And that's just one example of many things of things that, you know, get down the totem pole of, you know, importance. So this is just kind of a snapshot of one week of my life. And usually why I don't show it is because watching someone sit at the computer because half of my life is computer work, that's kind of boring. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of a little bit behind the scenes and I can't wait for the next week. It's going to be a really great week. The garden has started to flourish 
the last couple weeks, it has just taken off and I can't wait to share with you the abundance that is coming out of the garden and the fun projects we get to and just the experience of enjoying this summer together. It's been a fantastic year so far and I can't wait to see what the rest of the year has in store. So if you enjoyed this video, I can pop a couple of my other videos here. You can go enjoy between my now and my next upload. I hope you're having a great day and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye friend.